Hey there, gearheads! There's nothing quite like the thrill of a brand new engine, the allure of cutting-edge technology. For decades we've been cruising down the highway of automotive innovation, fueled by a desire for speed, efficiency, and sustainability. The dream? A future where cars are not just machines but marvels of engineering that tread lightly on our planet. Lately there's been a buzz in the air, whispers of revolutionary technologies that could redefine the very way we drive. From China comes a car claiming to run on water, while in Zimbabwe, an inventor says he's cracked the code of self-powered vehicles. Could these be the game-changers we've been waiting for? Let's pop the hood and take a closer look. But as any seasoned mechanic knows, it's important to approach new technology with a healthy dose of skepticism. We need to separate the hype from the horsepower, the fantasy from the facts. Buckle up folks, because the future of automotive innovation is about to get interesting. Out of China comes a splash of innovation, a car that supposedly runs on nothing but water. Yeah, let me guess, American past hero Stanley Meyer's invention come back for part two of the unfinished business? Yeah, the oil industry made sure he died of poison that won't leave room for second chance. However, this time, the innovation has emerged from China. This is the most fantastic news I've come across in 2025. The million dollar question now remains, are the oil mafia doing push-up, gaining reps to play the role of hitman behind the Batman suite? Cause there are a lot of free energy inventor now, that you will need a nation of fortress army of CIA to get it done, it will be a lovely movie. However, hold your horses Ko Xi Jinping is not bluffing, no, he will not stand by and watch the TikTok show. He could be the anti-Iron Man in character. I know what you're thinking the idea is simple, almost too good to be true. Extract hydrogen from water and use it to power the engine, it's not a difficult thing. No more gasoline, no more diesel, just pure clean H2O. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? Well, that's because, in a way, it is. The reality, as is often the case, is a bit more complicated. While the details are shrouded in secrecy and controversy, it seems this water-powered car relies on a chemical reaction, rather than true water splitting. Think of those novelty toys, the little metal cars you drop in water and watch zoom around. They use a similar principle relying on a chemical reaction to generate a small amount of energy. While it makes for a fun toy, it's not exactly a sustainable solution for powering a full-sized vehicle. The Chinese company behind this innovation has been met with skepticism from scientists and engineers. Splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen requires a significant amount of energy, more energy than you get back from burning the hydrogen. Until we see solid scientific evidence and independent verification, it's best to file this one under interesting but unproven. Across the globe, in Zimbabwe, a different kind of automotive revolution is brewing. Maxwell Chikumbutso, a self-taught engineer, claims to have developed a car that runs on a completely different principle self-powered technology. That's right, no gasoline, no electricity, no hydrogen, no nothing. This car, according to Chikumbutso, pulls energy directly from the air, harnessing the power of electromagnetic waves to propel itself forward. Now, if this sounds too good to be true, you're not alone. The scientific community has met Chikumbutso's claims with a mixture of curiosity and skepticism. The idea of extracting usable energy from ambient electromagnetic waves is not entirely far-fetched. After all, radio waves are a form of electromagnetic radiation. However, the amount of energy you can realistically harvest from these sources is minuscule, certainly not enough to power a car. Despite the lack of independent verification and peer-reviewed studies, Chikumbutso remains undeterred. He claims to have developed not just a self-powered car, but also generators and other devices that operate on the same principle. But without a transparent demonstration of the technology and rigorous scientific testing, it's impossible to determine whether these inventions are the real deal or elaborate hoaxes. Until Chikumbutso opens his doors to the scientific community and allows for independent verification of his technology, his self-powered car will remain an intriguing mystery. Section 4. Reliability and Maintenance. The True Cost of Ownership. When it comes to cars, there's more to consider than just the initial sticker price. Reliability and maintenance costs play a huge role in the overall cost of ownership. And when you're dealing with experimental technologies like the Chinese water-powered car and Chikumbutso's self-powered car, those costs can be anyone's guess. Let's start with the Chinese car. Assuming the technology is legitimate and not just a clever illusion, the reliance on chemical reactions to generate power raises some red flags. These reactions are likely to involve consumables, 
materials that get used up and need to be replenished regularly. Imagine having to replace a cartridge or refill a tank with some special chemical concoction every few hundred miles. Not exactly convenient, is it? And what about the long-term effects of these chemical reactions on the engine and other components? Corrosion, wear and tear, and unexpected breakdowns could turn this water-powered car into a money pit on wheels. Chikumbutso's self-powered car on the other hand, presents a different set of unknowns. If it truly does draw energy from the environment, then, theoretically it wouldn't require any fuel or charging. That's a tantalizing prospect, but the devil as they say, is in the details. Section 5. Driving Towards a Greener Future One of the most alluring aspects of both the Chinese water-powered car and Chikumbutso's self-powered car is their potential to revolutionize transportation and reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. Imagine a world where cars no longer emit harmful pollutants into the atmosphere, where the air is cleaner and the threat of climate change is diminished. It's a vision of a greener future that's hard not to get excited about. The Chinese car, if it lives up to its claims, could offer a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Hydrogen, when burned as fuel, produces only water vapor as a byproduct. However, the process of extracting hydrogen from water, especially using the chemical reaction method suspected in this case, can still have environmental impacts. The production, transportation, and disposal of the chemicals involved could offset some of the environmental benefits. Chikumbutso's self-powered car, if it truly does draw energy from the environment without any external input, could potentially be a zero-emission vehicle in the truest sense. No fuel, no charging, no emissions. However, until the technology is independently verified and its environmental impact thoroughly assessed, it's too early to declare it a silver bullet solution to our transportation woes. Section 6. The Need for Scientific Scrutiny In the world of automotive innovation, as in any field that pushes the boundaries of what's possible, there's a fine line between groundbreaking discoveries and outright snake oil. That's why it's absolutely crucial to approach claims of revolutionary technologies with a healthy dose of skepticism and a demand for rigorous scientific scrutiny. The Chinese water-powered car and Chikumbutso's self-powered car, while captivating in their audacity, have yet to stand up to the scrutiny of the scientific community. The lack of independent verification, peer-reviewed studies, and transparent demonstrations of the technologies raises serious red flags. Scientific scrutiny is not about stifling innovation or dismissing new ideas out of hand. It's about ensuring that claims are backed by solid evidence, that the laws of physics are not being violated, and that the public is not being misled by hype or misinformation. When it comes to evaluating these new automotive technologies, we need to demand transparency, accountability, and a commitment to the scientific method. Only then, can we determine whether these technologies are the real deal or just another false start on the road to automotive innovation? Section 7 Game Changers or Roadblocks So, are the Chinese water-powered car and Chikumbutso's self-powered car the game changers we've been waiting for? Or are they just expensive roadblocks on the path to sustainable transportation? The potential of these technologies is undeniable. The idea of cars that run on water or draw energy directly from the environment is incredibly alluring, offering a glimpse of a future free from fossil fuel dependence and its associated environmental consequences, but potential alone is not enough. Until these technologies have been independently verified, their claims rigorously tested, and their long-term viability thoroughly assessed, it's impossible to say for sure whether they will revolutionize the automotive industry or fade away like so many other promising innovations that failed to live up to the hype. The road to a sustainable automotive future is paved with both innovation and skepticism. The journey continues and while the destination remains uncertain, one thing is for sure, the future of automotive innovation is going to be a wild ride.